Yo, my name is Benjamin, and in this video, I'm excited to cover the Slideshow version 2.0. This brand new version introduces drag support and a whole lot more small tweaks and improvements. So let's start by taking a look at the previous Slideshow demo. As a reminder, this component allows you to design these infinitely looping, auto-playing slideshows with custom effects as well. Like here where the inactive images have a lower opacity value and are scaled down. Now this new update also adds the ability to make your slideshows draggable using the power of Framer Motion. You can update your slideshows in existing projects by heading over to the assets panel and then clicking on the update button next to the slideshow component. And as you can see here, a new draggable property appears. I can simply set it to yes and let's give this demo another preview. Now you can see a little hand cursor appears. I can still use the controls, but I can also swipe to drag to the next or previous image. And this all uses the same transition settings that you've defined in your properties. Next, let me move to a different demo project to cover some other new features. So here we have a very basic slideshow with five images. And I'll start by decreasing the width of each item so we can view multiple items at once. Now, a common request in slideshows like these is the ability to control the position of the arrows. You can already upload custom images, but with this update, we get a few new properties. For example, we can decide to only fade in our arrow controls on hover or to group our arrows and to customize the positioning. For example, I can set position to top right and then I can provide custom offsets even negative values. So I can set top to minus 50 and right to minus 330. So I can now move these controls anywhere, even outside of the bounding box of the slideshow, allowing for more unique setups. And here's our final result. Our dots also sit neatly below the slideshow, which is now possible using the new negative offsets. Our slideshow auto plays yet is also draggable and we can customize this transition. And finally, we can use the arrows to control the slideshow as well. When it comes to dragging, we take your velocity into account so I can do quick swipes like these. We also take your dragging offsets into account. So if I manually move the slideshow to a specific item, that also does the trick. And this also works when dragging across multiple items at once. And that's pretty much it for this update video. It makes the slideshow a lot more flexible and it allows you to have more control over the interactions and the visuals of your slideshows. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.